Bloodhound SSC here and I think it's really time for an update. This project's now been going on for several years. It's a very, very exciting time for us. In September of last year, September, October of last year, we crossed a significant milestone for us and we went from being a theoretical project to what we want to do um, to actually running the car under its own power. So we, w we went to Newquay Airport in Cornwall and we got it up to around about 220 miles an hour which is a long way from where we want to be however from 0 to 220 miles an hour took us about four and a half five seconds and we ran out of space. So the car now is back in our uh, technical centre in Bristol where there's a little bit of work doing to it but our plan is that we will go to South Africa around about May time of, the, of next year and we will continue where we've left off. So we are comfortable with how the car's performing on a jet only but we've got a lot more tests to do. So we will gradually increase the speeds up to around about 500 miles an hour running it on jet only and then we start introducing the rocket systems into the car, gradually ramping the speed up and we're anticipating that around about September, maybe October next year, we'll have a concerted attempt at the world record at around about 800 miles an hour. Once we've done that, we're going to come home um, and do some, some tinkering with the car. We need to, to get some more powerful rockets which are being developed for us and then we'll aim to hit 1,000 miles an hour the following year. It's a very steep learning curve. The project's been ongoing now for some time. Is, is the funding still coming through? Is British industry still supporting you? Very much so. Funding is always, always, always an, an issue in projects like this. We are funded by our very, very generous corporate sponsors. At the Motor Show here, we're also we're selling merchandise and we have a very, very generous supporters fan club. And those are our income streams. We are confident that our funding will be in place to see us through the next stage and on uh, to, to, to 800 miles an hour and, and beyond. Um, it's a very, very exciting time. But British industry have been fantastic. The whole reason we're doing this is because we want to inspire the next generation of young people to go into science, technology, engineering and maths. There is a massive skills shortage. So employers and big businesses get behind us and they get into our outreach team. We are the biggest outreach team in the country for what we do. We're in our schools and colleges all over the country, inspiring young people to take on um, scientific and engineering um, careers people look at our car they think it's fantastic what we're trying to do a thousand miles an hour is a fantastic thing to achieve but it's unbelievably difficult but it is we believe it's possible and people they come away inspired and hopefully they'll go on and they'll solve all the problems of the world